Hello everyone, sorry for the quality of the video, I'm shooting this on a iPhone 4S. I've been trying to figure out a way to set up uh, one of these LiftMaster garage door locks, a model 41A6102, to a Z-Wave relay to try to get the entire thing to work with uh, my smart things home setup. And so after some thinking, I saw another video from someone who used uh, an Arduino Nano to uh, open and close his blinds via Z-Wave as well using the same uh, relay. This is a ZFM80, which I currently have hardwired uh, into the outlet here to emulate it to being uh, powered by the wall. Uh, these things are cool little devices. It's just a Z-Wave. I disconnected it to be safe. And what it does is you provide one power source to these two to these two inlets. Then you can provide a different source that you want to control via a relay. And even if you want to add an external switch, like a light switch, you can add that to also control it with another switch. This comes with a, a push button, so it doesn't really need an external switch. But if you want one, you have the option there. So plug this guy back in. You can see once it's plugged in, power up through the switch, power back down, or I can control it on my smart things via the via my smart things setup. So what I have this doing is uh, I have this be, be working this switch, which uh, the uh, nano is connected to, it's sending 5 volts uh, positive power into the ZFM80 and then uh, when the ZMF80 is activated it lets the circuit continue through to digital prong 2 as an inlet and I've uh, set up a program to accept uh, when this is on and off to send uh, power to the lock for about half a second so we don't burn out the relays. However, I want to run the whole thing off of one power source. So I got this guy here. Um, I watched another video where this lock is powered by 12 volts, 12 to 24 volts, I believe, with uh, it's 2.56 amps. So I got a 12 volt power source with three amps to provide just enough power to open and close this lock. However, the Nano runs off of uh, 5 volts, I believe 500 milliamps. So, this converter I purchased from Amazon that would take in the 12 volts and put out the 5 volts, 3 milliamps. However, the voltage does jump around, so I have a 10K resistor here connected to prong number 2 and to ground to help uh, maintain the voltage or keep it from jumping around too much because we're going to need that prong to tell us when uh, this thing is on or off or the relay here is on or off. So we have uh, I connected the power source here that's going to provide power to both. It's going to come this way, go through the converter, go down to 5 volts of power which are connected to the rails up here. They will come down here to the 5 volt prong as an inlet come out to the relay or the ZFM80 come back to the number 2 as an inlet to take a signal there's an additional white wire here coming out to provide 5 volts to these relays and then a ground to also provide here the ground wires that will be here for to power everything I'll have a wiring diagram up or attached to this to help uh, clarify everything. Uh, with the coating, what makes it nice, after I opened this thing up I found out that it's just a car lock um, actuator. Uh, so I figured why not run it like a car lock. So I found some schematics on how to do reverse polarity. You 
provide power to the actuator in one direction, the lock goes out, you reverse the polarity, lock goes in, just switch it back and forth. So what I did here is you have, we have uh, the blue wire is the negative, red wire is the positive. The blue wire is going to the normally closed of this relay, also the normally closed of the second relay. So when you con connect the white wires that go to the actuator to the common, it's going to be open at all times. So you're providing negative power to both the wires, which doesn't matter to the actuator. You won't hurt it as long as it's both negative or both positive. The red wire or the positive is going to the normally open on both sides. That way, if you just switch one relay, then you have positive on one side, negative on the other one, and the actuator will go one way. When you turn off that relay and turn on the opposite relay, now you have negative on one side, opposite positive on the opposite side and now the relay will go the actuator will go back I'm probably not doing the best job at explaining this but I'll uh, set it all up have you take a look at it and uh, show you how it works so let me just plug this little guy in here and put this into the bottom so now that the nano has started it up It's going, it turned it on because the relay is on. You can manually run the setup. Or with the phone. So it seems to work very well. I had the, the hardest problem I had was figuring out that I had to put this 10K resistor in here. Uh, it didn't take the signal very well. Once a 10K resistor was in, going from prong to to ground, everything seemed to work itself out. Also, while you have it in, you're still able to manually unlock it. If you manually unlock it and you have it locked on your phone, that's fine. You can do it. It's not going to affect anything. Still lock it. Unlock it. Manually lock it. Manually unlock it. Work it just like normal. I also have plans to uh, to set up a limit switch internally on one of these arms that will act allow the garage door motor to activate or not activate. That way. I don't have to worry about the bolt being in place and having the door open at the same time because that could damage my door. Um, so this is the basic setup. I put the code that I use for the Arduino in the notes. I also put links to all the items here were bought on Amazon. I'll put those all on the notes. Um, and if you want to try it out, please give it a shot. Uh, beware though, I'm not an electrician. Um, I don't know if this is right or if this is to code, or if it's even safe. Uh, I'm definitely running high voltage here, testing this guy out uh, and reducing this. It's dangerous if you don't feel comfortable doing this, hire an electrician, have them do something like this for you. If you know uh, what you're doing, if you're good with electricity, go ahead and give it a shot. If I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. I would like to improve my setup. Uh, as this is my house and I don't want to burn it down. So uh, if you have any comments, please put them below. It's not the best video, yes, but hope it helps somebody. All right, have a good one.